Hey, hey, hey Ross. Hey, How's Kevin? it going? Look at you guys. Electric cars? Is that today's topic of discussion? Uh, yeah, EV chargers. Really? All right. I'll join you. So where are we going with EV chargers? I mean, these things are getting popular, right? We're, We're getting more and more of a call every day to put these in. I mean, a lot of people are buying the vehicles and, you know, they want the larger chargers to be installed in their homes. We're getting calls from car dealerships to install newer systems because they're anticipating more and more vehicles having them. And are those calls because people have bought a car and they need to charge them, or are they future-proofing their garage? A lot of times they're just anticipating buying the car. They're kind of getting ready and making sure that they're set up that they can actually use it the way they want to use it. Right. Is, is there a... Is there like a code? Is there something you have to do? Or is this always above and beyond of homeowners saying, come back and fix my garage? So somewhere? something like this is above and beyond. There is a basic code. Some of our code has changed in anticipation of cars becoming more and more popular for uh, electric vehicles. And what they've done is they've basically had us install a dedicated 20 amp circuit for at least one receptacle in each garage bay. Each garage bay. And a 20 yeah. amp, that's a, just a traditional plug that I'd plug a exactly. fan into or something like that. That you'd use something like a level one charger on. Right. right. Yeah, so a level one charger would be your 120 volt regular plug, 15 or 20 amps. Mm -hmm. That's gonna give you about four to five miles per hour of charge. Not that's much. Not much. Not a whole lot. Uh, even overnight, that's not gonna get me 100 miles. No, no. So not, not gonna be great, but if you wanna go to the next level, it's a level two. That would look like this installed in the wall or something like this. Right. And this is more what we've been installing in anticipation of this coming along, is we try to future-proof it as much as we can by installing these in the garage now. What is this? This looks like a dryer plug to me. Yeah, so that's a 240 volt, 50 amp yeah. uh, plug. There's also a 30 amp version of that. So the 50 amp's kind of equivalent to an electric oven, the 30 amp's equivalent to an electric dryer. So code doesn't require this. Code requires a typical receptacle, one in each bay. Correct. If you guys were advising somebody, you would say go with something like Start this. Start with something like this. That's and, right. and how much am I, what would you do, hours, miles per yeah, hour? Yeah, so, so this, this rate, a level two typically will give you 15 to 30 miles for every hour that's plugged in. So overnight I could get 200, 300 miles. Yeah, now we're talking about if you're commuting, if you're tra traveling yeah. any distances, that's what you're gonna need. You, you need to recharge the vehicle Fill up way. the whole battery. Exactly. Right. Do everything you need every mm -hmm. night. There are level three though, by the of way. Of course there are. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. It goes to 11. Uh, so level three would be what you see at those rest areas, right? So those are the DC superchargers. Those are the ones that run on 480 volts, super high uh, voltage, super high amperages, um, and those can charge in 15, 15 to 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah, they can bring your the car right The entire car. Yes. Yeah. Wait, are, would you put that in your garage or is that? <laughs> no, no, right? No. That's a that's yeah. a commercial type of thing. Yeah, that's but you'd want for... that as a commuter to stop somewhere. And you'd want to know where they are. So you, as you're traveling, you can make a stop, recharge quickly, and keep moving. That's right. You know, a traditional outlet, 120, Maybe I could do it myself, run a couple circuits right into the bays. This, am I doing myself? This gets a little more complicated and has a few more codes that have to go along with it. So for something like this, I'd say you really want to call a professional. It's, it's much larger wire, larger amperage, larger voltage, uh, and more rules around it as far as getting this protected properly and having this installed like it should Not be. DIY. Not no. DIY, no. right. This is a, an electric car charger. That is a level yeah. two. That's, yeah. that's going to go in right there, and then that's specific to the car. That's right, exactly. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I could call you to put that in. What am I going to be calling you to do in five? Five years or ten years, like what's coming our way? Yeah, so we're really excited about. That's what we're talking about before. This some of the really future great stuff technologies. Yeah. So one of the things we've talked a little bit about before that I'm really looking forward to is the induction charging. Just like your cell phone, when you put it down on top of the uh, the charging mat, it charges without you having to plug it in. You're the only electrician I know who's looking forward to the day when there's no wires. <laughs> well, okay. I, you know what's coming your way, pal. I still have to power the piece. <laughs> okay. So. You have the induction, whether it's a pad that you drive up on, whether it's built into the asphalt or the concrete, that you literally just drive the vehicle over. The system's already wired, and they talk to each other, and it just charges instantly. Do they exist now? Yeah. Yep. Do they work? They do. They do. Can I charge my, my entire car 200, 300 mile range overnight with one of those things? Depends on what car you have, mm. but yes. Really? So super cool technology. Um, I'm super excited about where the future of that goes. Absolutely. Right? And more manufacturers get on board, more cars get enabled with that technology. But another thing that we're excited about is called vehicle to grid. And that is a V2G is what they call it. And that's a technology that really hasn't been released yet. But the idea is that if you're at home and you have your electric vehicle and you're, you lose power, you lost power, when that happens, you can actually take the storage, the electricity that's stored in your battery in your car and power up your house. The car becomes my generator, my standby generator? generator? It's like a portable yeah. generator. Right what can I run though off of my car parked in my garage? The basics, I mean, more than you'd think. Your house, 
in general, really isn't using that much at any given point. So you can run lights like you normally do. You're not turning every light on your house for the most part. You're going room to room, turning them on and off. Your fridge, which cycles, can run. Yep. Um, if your gas heating heat, system, if it's gas, water. can run. So you guys keep harping on gas heat, meaning no, not electric heat. Correct. Right. And, and presumably not air conditioning for the places that air conditioning. Yeah, nothing too big. You if you know. get a compressor load, you will want to stay away from that because that will draw the battery, It'll drain down, the battery very right quickly, down. Or might overload it. What about a heat pump, like a mini split that's up on the wall? A lot of those are too much draw. Yeah, yeah. probably not. Okay, but it's going to keep you going for the Wi-Fi, the lights, the refrigerator. Exactly. Which, and three days, or at least even a couple hours. Just right. get you through that. Get that's you through the outage. Cool. You are drawing down the car battery, so that if you drive down too low, you might be stranded. You might not be able to drive so your you car anywhere. Pay but attention that you don't. <laughs> the car but you get heat, hot water, water versus... <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. So it's kind of a cool future, right? The idea you drive your car in and it wirelessly charges overnight and gives you two, three, four hundred mile range of the next day. And in a intermittent power outage, the car is actually working for you, pushing it back to the Acting house. like a generator. That's right. Yeah. That is very cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you. I like the update. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.